Yes, we begin tonight with a controversial decision that led to the euthanization of a bear here in Flagstaff. Last Friday, an adult male black bear entered a residential area in the city. While game and fish were able to capture the bear without incident, many people are upset because of the department's policy requiring them to euthanize predatory animals that enter residential areas. Lauren Lee has more. We chased the bear around for several hours. It was going through people's yards and hopping fences. Last Friday, a three-year-old male black bear was spotted near the residential areas in Flagstaff. Game and Fish managed to capture the bear, but unfortunately had to euthanize the bear due to policy. Based on where it's at, the timing of the situation, how close is it to the edge of the forest, those kind of things, um, and any other previous activity, all those things are considered before we will go and, um, and capture a bear. Male bears are territorial and they're constantly moving and trying to find their own place to live, their own territory, and sometimes that brings them into town. Game and fish are fearful that if male bears are relocated, they may likely return due to losing their fear of humans and identifying them as a source for food. If it was out in the woods, you know, this wouldn't have been an issue, but we're, it was running through several people's homes and backyards. There were several people out. We saw several kids on bicycles, and there was actually a school bus coming through to drop kids off. So due to that, public safety is going to be number one. While Flagstaff Game and Fish maintains that they have the public's best interests at heart, there is still much controversy on the matter. The department cares a lot about wildlife. We manage for populations. We don't manage for individuals. We have a healthy bear population um, here in northern Arizona. They're in, uh, off the Mogollon Rim and they're in the Tucson Mountains. And I understand a lot of people are upset about this bear being put down, but we're going to have to take the public safety as our number one priority. This is Lauren Lee with NAZ Today. If you would like more information on reporting bear sightings, you can follow the link on our website.